Harry trembling violently after Queen sent message Sophie and Edward to banning Sussex from UK. Sophie, Countess of Wessex and Prince Edward will be embarking on a royal tour in a few months to mark the Platinum Jubilee. And according to a royal expert, the move shows the Wessexes have the confidence of the Queen as working members of the royal family. A swathe of royal tours have been announced by Buckingham Palace for later this year, and the royal family is expected to visit several countries to mark the Platinum Jubilee. The Queen is celebrating an unprecedented seven decades on the throne, and in previous Jubilee years, royals have travelled far and wide to represent the crown abroad. One of the longest tours announced this year will be carried out by the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. The Wessexes will visit Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines from April 22 to 28, it has been announced. And according to a royal expert, the Wessexes are the ideal royals to carry out these high-profile visits. Richard Fitzwilliams told, This is an excellent plan which will commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in four Caribbean nations, all of which recognize the Queen as head of state, early in the year. He added, the Earl and Countess of Wessex are ideal for this role. They both enjoy the Queen's confidence and have handled their royal roles well for many years. The news Sophie and Edward will be going on tour as a royal duo points plainly to the couple's elevated role within the royal family in recent years. Edward and Sophie appear to have emerged as forefront members of the firm, perhaps even more so since Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex's royal exit in 2020. The Wessexes have long been rumoured to be favourites of the monarch, with Sophie and the Queen thought to have an incredibly close bond. At a reception to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Trust in 2019, Sophie referred to her mother-in-law as Momu in a speech honouring the Queen's work. And since the death of Prince Philip in April 2021, Sophie is thought to have been a great support to the Queen, as she only lives a short drive from the Queen's Windsor residence. Royal commentator Duncan Larkham told Vanity Fair last year, Sophie Wessex has emerged as the Queen's unlikely rock as the monarch adjusts to life without Prince Philip. Prince Edward's wife has, according to sources, made it her personal mission to ensure Her Majesty is fully supported by the family. Fans of Harry and Meghan are convinced the royal couple could be in the running for the Nobel Peace Prize. The Sussex squad, as they have been dubbed, messaged royal journalist Richard Eden to celebrate the news. The commentator then tweeted about the fans' excitement and the suggesting they could be in the running for the accolade. It comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were honoured by the NAACP, National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People. The reports on the dialogue between fans of the couple and speculated about the likelihood of them winning. Richard Eden wrote, Prince Harry and Meghan's cheerleaders are tweeting me, seriously, suggesting that, next, the couple will be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Underneath, a Count Wake and Abertha for Sussex Royals wrote, You are really not going to tweet about the, Civil Rights Group, NAACP award? So why should someone follow your show if it's biased and not covering news like this? You know the Nobel Peace is next right? Stay mad. Squire York wrote, if Greta doesn't get Nobel Peace Prize then it should go to Meghan Duchess of Sussex or Justin Trudeau. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, are expected to attend the NAACP Awards this weekend to collect the President's Awards to mark their achievement for distinguished public service. Previous winners include Muhammad Ali, Rihanna, LeBron James, Bill Clinton and Venus and Serena Williams. It is their first major Hollywood event since they chose to leave the royal family in January 2020 and relocate to America.